Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a follow-up video for the new Shaman Talents that we've already discussed. I've managed to play with them in both Raid and Mythic Plus, and I managed to play both Farseer and Totemic in Mythic Plus. So, are we liking them? Are we going to play with them? Coming up next. Now, when it comes to raiding, you can see the build that I've used. I am using Coalescing Water, but I didn't use the new Reactive Warding Talent. I think you can still get enough value from the later in a raid environment, but maybe some other talents are going to bring you more value overall. And I'm also not a big fan of respamming your earth shield every so often, as the talent makes it get consumed much faster. The coalescing water though, that feels so much better. The increased healing on Riptide is nice, but that is not what matters the most. The reduction to the mana cost of the chain heal is actually what matters. It felt so much better to play with this talent, and yes, a lot of things changed for me since last week. I got better enchants, I got better gear. I'm also getting now Blessing of Winter since Paladins obviously don't need it from themselves anymore. But I could definitely feel the mana difference for sure. So this is definitely a huge win if you're going to play Restoration Shaman in Raid, and that is a must-have talent. When it comes to Farseer, Reactive Warding actually didn't feel good at all because Farseer already has a lot of buttons that you have to press and now you have to be including the Earth Shield recasts every so often, so I definitely did not feel I want to be playing this talent at all. But here again, the Coalescing Water talent is actually a huge winner. As a Farseer, you're already casting your Chain Heals and you're running Tidebringer, so this is just a cherry on top of the cake. The mana problems are completely gone and you're getting this fat Riptides, which are a huge bonus and they can help you get out of some tough situations. So as far as Farseer goes, it's actually pretty damn good and it's kinda about the same as Raid. Coalescing Water totally rules and you can make the reactive warding work, but maybe you shouldn't. And when it comes to Totemic, I guess Reactive Warding is the easiest to use of all the scenarios in this pack. The actual healing that you get from renewing the Earth Shield is negligible and it might as well not be there. But as long as you keep the Earth Shield up, it's going to do a lot more healing compared to before. However, I keep thinking that you're probably better off just taking even deeply rooted elements as uh, you're probably going to get more value out of that. Especially if you're playing with a good tank that you know you don't need to babysit and spam heal all the time, you can probably easily get away without the extra earth shield healing from the reactive warding. In those cases, you're going to get more value out of other talents that will help you heal the party in AoE damage instead. And if you get the bad punk tank that you have to spam heal 24-7, the reactive warding is not going to help you, I can tell you that much. So overall not a bad talent, not a bad redesign of the talent, but I think you can go without it in pretty much any content. And now lastly, Totemic Crash to Shaman in Mythic Plus with Coalescing Water. Now as you probably guys know, I play without Tybringer in Mythic Plus when I'm playing my Totemic Crash to Shaman because I do not cast the chain heals that much. Even in the rare situations where I do need to cast them, I think the Tidal Waves buffs is quite enough to make them fast enough so they don't feel extremely slow and the rest of the time I'm just trying to let my totems cast them for me. Now I know that a lot of people actually like casting them and they are running Tidebringer and you have to run Tidebringer if you want to take Coalescing Water. So this is exactly what I did and I can say knowing that I have Tidebringer kind of baited me to cast a little bit more chain heals because I knew that talent is there and they're gonna be faster and to be frank I didn't feel much better. Yes, you are getting more value out of your chain heals, you are getting a little bit better riptides, but you're also losing Ancestral Awakening for those two extra points, and I just cannot justify that in my mind right now. In fact, Ancestral Awakening was doing more than decent healing in my runs when I was playing with it, and I don't think that the extra riptide healing and the extra chain heals compensate enough to do more than what it was doing before. So long story short, it's not a bad setup, it's not bad talents, and if you're casting your chain heals a lot, you should definitely run that instead. 
But personally, I think that the Ancestral Awakening setup is going to just do better for me. So yeah, that's everything for now. It's early days. I'm gonna keep playing with both, experimenting more and let you know what happens then. But do let me know in the comments below what is your experience so far and what are your first impressions. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Now get out of here.